Shadow Wong. First and foremost, want to give all praise, glory, and honor doing to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Okakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And their respect to the brothers teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. To the hopeful that, that I scattered throughout the four corners of the globe. That has repented and come back to the ways of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. You know, to you I give a sincere shout of one. Uh, coming back at you with another lesson. And this basic lesson is going to deal with time. Uh, you know, this lesson has been on, you know, pretty much on my mind, on my spirit all day. You know, it's just been busy at work. Um, you know, and now since, you know, I have, you know, you know, done with work for the day, you know, I just decided to go ahead and, you know, do this lesson. You know, because of the, what did your house I tell Peter? You know, if you love me, you'll feed my sheep. Mean that we have to do the work of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? Because the sheep have to constantly be fed and be edified. And um, and me personally, I know I need to do better on my end, you know, to feed the sheep. You know what I'm saying? And to also, you know, do better things than what I need to do. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's all about the elect at the end of the day. And with that being said, we will we're coming to a time period that we the prophecy is going to uh, hit uh, everybody's mad down right in the face. Um, for those that are the elect of Yahweh Bashim Al Shah, you know, what I'm saying the elect understands through the spirit what's going on because every day you heard you're always hearing something going on the, on the news dealing with prophecy. And there's so much that's going on that uh that uh we can't even cover everything that's going on in the world because there's so much going on concerning prophecy. But you know what I'm saying, at the end of it all, you know what I'm saying, the 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 uh, you know, the prophets, you know, always constantly warn the people about what's gonna take place and what's about to happen. Before it happens, and and one thing about you, how about Shem Al Shah? You know, what I'm saying, he, you know, everything that he tell his prophets to tell the people, it always come to pass. You know, what I'm saying, and, and we're gonna start off with this scripture, Revelation chapter one, starting at verse one, and it reads, "The revelation of Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, which Yahweh gave unto him." to show unto his servants things which must surely come to pass. And who is his servant? His servants are the prophets. You know what I'm saying? What did the scripture say? The scripture said that, you know, Yahweh doesn't do anything, but he revealed his secrets unto the prophets. You know, before Yahweh by Shem Al Shah, you know, made things come to pass, you know, he first gave it to his uh, servant, the prophets, you know, the secrets. You know, in the, the, the secrets that the prophets get from the, through the spirit power, you how about Shem Al Shah? You know, they go out and warn the people. You know, and then once it come to pass, they can't never say that they they weren't warned. But you know, how about Shem Al Shah? Always give uh, what he's about to do. He always tell his his uh, secrets to the prophets, and the prophets will go out and and they would uh, prophesy the, which things. Which, which which they saw in the thing which surely gonna come to pass as we just as we just read and we're gonna read Revelation one and one again it said the revelation of Yahweh Shah of Mashiach which Yahweh gave unto him to show unto his servants things must surely come to pass and he said it and signified it by his angel unto his servant John you know this time I joined the Revelator who bear record of the word of Yahweh and of the testimony of Yahweh Shah of Mashiach and all things that that he saw. This point in verse 3 it said, Blessed he that read it, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand, and we're coming up at them times right now. So I can hate them phone calls coming in, but anyway, 
um, you know, uh, let's read verse 3 again. It says, Blessed is he that read it, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. And everything that uh, is prophesied in Scripture is coming to pass, because it's time for it to come to pass. You know, and speaking of prophecy, let's go to Habakkuk chapter 2. You know what I'm saying? And we're going to start at the first verse, and it reads, I will stand upon my watch and set me up on the tower and will watch to see what he would say and what, and what I shall answer when I am reproved. And Yahweh answered me and said, Write the vision and make it plain upon tables, uh, that he may run and read it. Verse 3, For the vision here for, for an appointed time, but in the end he shall speak, and not, and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. And let's talk about the prophecies. You know, the prophecy is written in the scriptures. If we read in uh, in uh, Revelation 1 and 3, you know, it said, Blessed he that read it, that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for time is at hand. And prophecy is coming to pass before you know it. You know, it's coming to pass as we speak. You know what I'm saying? Every time you turn on news, you know what I'm saying? You're always seeing something dealing with prophecy. You know what I'm saying? You, you even, you know, they even talking about the food shortages and the cargo ships that that they have just poured out there, you know, around uh, Long Beach and uh, Los Angeles. You know what I'm saying? They systematically trying to starve the people out, man. But, 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 there's, but that's part of prophecy. Then now, uh, Matthew chapter 24 and verse 7, and, and let me just get that real quick. Goes into that. You know, let's, let's just get it. Because this is part of prophecy. You know, if you understand the time that we're in, you you know, you know, it's best to understand the scriptures because the scriptures tells you what time that we're in, but you, only people that can break down the mysteries of, of, the, of, the, of the scriptures are the prophets. You know what I'm saying? This is Matthew 24 and 7. You know, it said, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. And why I won't get out of there, you know, it's talking about famines. You know what I'm saying? That's part of prophecy that these things are happening. And you see uh, in the news how they, you know, they stopping all the, you know, they want to stop all the goods and all the words from coming into coming into Babylon the Great, because what they want to do is systematically starve out the people and having them to bow down to this beast system. But that's also part of the prophecy. You read Revelation chapter 13, which is talking about the MOTB. You know what I'm saying? This is what these people are, are heading towards. You know, all these things are part of prophecy, but this is but this has to play out because this is what the scripture says. It said, for the time is at hand. Now we're at the acceptable time that these things are coming to pass. You know what I'm saying? Because all the things that the prophets have prophesied, and also John the Revelation saw in the in, in book of Revelation, points to this time period that we're in right now. You know, we in the beginning of Jacob's trouble. You can read that in Jeremiah chapter 30, verse 7. You know, it talks about Jacob's trouble. You know, we are in that time period. These things are these things are going to take place. You know what I'm saying? That's really why it's, it's best for every one of us, including myself, you know, to be rooted in the word of Yahweh Bashim al Shah. You know what I'm saying? Because these prophecies and in the, in the words of Yahweh Bashim al Shah is more important because we are in a time period that things are about to really get ugly out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about really get ugly. You know what I'm saying? It's going to come to a point that you, your own family members are going to turn against you. It's going to come to the point that, you know what I'm saying, food is really going to be scarce, meaning that you're going to have people that's going to be fighting over food, over everyday necessities. You know, this is what it's all coming down to. You know what I'm saying? But we have to have the faith that you have by Shem Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? In order for us to make it, we have to pray that we're part of the elect. 
You know what I'm saying? Because we are coming into some serious times that we're going to need Yahweh Hashem out shot. No if and buts about it. We're going to need Yahweh Hashem out shot because we, because the prophecies that you see uh, uh, according to the scripture, they're happening right in real time. You know what I'm saying? The famine is happening right there in real time. The wars and rumors of wars happening right in front of your face in real time. You know what I'm saying? You got you got wars popping off in the Middle East. You got Iran and Israel having tension amongst one another. And that's gonna draw Babylon and Babylon the Great and said that least of Fox should draw them out. You know what I'm saying? And and all these all these things are, are part of prophecy. You know what I'm saying? Because we are in a time period that is like no other that's in, in, in the history of since the earth began, man. We are in a critical time period that we have to have the faith of Yahweh Shem Al Shah. You know what I'm saying? We have to pray that we're part of the elect, that he will seal and protect us and deliver us from out of all the things that's coming upon the earth. You know what I'm saying? We seeing little skirmishes of it, but wait till when things really starting to pop off, you know what I'm saying? You already got, you know, the devil upset because he losing his kingdom. And you got and you got everybody they 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 starting to lose their mind, man. Because they seeing that their comforts are being taken from them. You know, they seeing the mirth is being taken from them and these people are gonna start losing their minds. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because they don't have the spirit of Yahweh by Shem Al the most high not dealing with them. And on top of that you know what I'm saying? and on top of that, they you know what I'm saying, they don't believe Yahweh Shah is coming back. You know what I'm saying? Because what did the scripture say? You know, uh, something to the effect that, you know what I'm saying, you know, things, you know, things, you know, things as continuous as they were before. Let me, let me look it up. You know what I'm saying? That's also part of prophecy and people are not looking for your house shot to come back, man. When I talk about people, I'm talking about the, those that are outside the elect, you know, they don't believe he's coming back. You know what I'm saying? Why? Because they, they are still in their father. Let me get that scripture. Uh, all right, this is Second Peter chapter three, and uh, we're gonna start it. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get to a point in uh in uh verse uh, four, and it read. Now nah, we're gonna start at three. And it reads, knowing this first, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. And you know, scoffers, people who mock the words of Yahweh, Shimei Asha, who mock the servant of the prophets, man. You know, they laugh and they scoff and they don't believe what, what you know, we're saying according to the scriptures. They don't believe it's going to come to pass. You know what I'm saying? Verse 4, you know, well, you know, they walk out their own lust, mean they walking out after their own thoughts, their own mind. You know what I'm saying? They walking after their own heart, but, you know, Scripture said that, you know, the heart is desperately wicked. You know what I'm saying? When it's time of heart, it's time out the mind. You know, they walking after their own lust. You know, they have no, the, the, the thought of Yahweh about Shimei Al-Sha is not in these people's heart, man. You know, that's why they laugh and scoff at the men of the Lord. But we all know that's part of prophecy as well, man. These, these things have to take place. But let's continue on with the Scriptures. You know, Second Peter chapter three verse four it said, it's saying, where is the promise of his coming? You know what I'm saying? You got people saying, Okay, y'all been saying your house shop supposed to come back. He ain't came back yet. Uh, uh we are very close to him coming back. Or you even see ch more cherry signs than ever before. You know what I'm saying? You got all these things going on in the world and people still laughing and scoffing, talking about y'all said that before. Y'all been saying that we at the end of the world. We at the end of the world. But look at the signs that's going on in the earth. You know what I'm saying? It's more prevalent than ever before. And if you, if you out here, you laughing and scoffing, and you don't believe it, then you're going to be destroyed, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. That read verse 4 again said, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the father fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. And what did the scripture say? You know what Yahweh said? 
you know, in the days of Noah, man, he said when they, you know, they they was eating and drinking, and they were married, and they were giving it to marriage, and he said until Noah came into the ark, you know, and the flood came and took them all away, man. You know, and that's in the next verse, verse 5, it says, uh, but this they they will not are entering of that by the word of Yahweh the heavens were of old and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that 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 then was being overflowed with water perished. You know, say so they're talking about that flood, man. And then going down to verse seven, you know, as in the days of Noah, you know, they was eating and drinking and getting Mary and giving to marriage and then when Noah came into went into the ark him you know his three sons you know Noah's wife his, I was like Noah and his wife and his three sons and their wives and, and then you know all the animals went into the ark and once you how once you how about showing how shot shut up the ark that was a wrap you know instantly that when that flood came man you know it rained and and and, and all the people that went on that ark they died man animals, children, you know, anything name, it got it it, it, it perished in the flood. But now it, it, it now it's gonna be the same scenario, but it's gonna be different because this time it's gonna be by fire. It's gonna be by those thermonuclear missiles. You know what I'm saying? Certain parts of the earth is gonna get hit. You know what I'm saying? With thermonuclear missiles, but over here, Babylon the Great is completely gonna be destroyed. You know what I'm saying? Verse seven says that but the heavens and the earth which are now by the same word, word I kept in store, reserved unto fight against against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men, and and and, and this rulership going you know, you know this this time we're gonna be destroyed by fire, man, because this rulership is been is the most wicked rulership that that has been known on the face of the earth, man. And, and Yahweh by Shem is going to destroy the world by fire. You know, Babylon the Great is going to be destroyed. You know, Israel is going to be cleansed. And certain parts of the world going to get hit with thermonuclear missiles. You know what I'm saying? But, um, and, that, and, and what, what's going on now? You know what I'm saying? People are married, eating and drinking, married, getting to marriage, giving to their lust. You know, not, not taking, not listening to the prophet, not listening to the men of the Lord. They're out here doing their own thing. They scoffing. They laughing. You know what I'm saying? They they mocking. You know what I'm saying? Just like it was in Noah's time. You know what I'm saying? The same thing going on now. You know what I'm saying? But this is part of prophecy. These, these things got to take place, man. You know, but this is the time period that we in. These things have to take place. You know what I'm saying? And, and, um, and, and it's going to be too late for a lot of people, man. Especially when you're telling them the, the scriptures of Yahweh about Shem Al-Shah. You're telling them that prophecy is being fulfilled right before their eyes. You know what I'm saying? If they don't get it, that, that it's not meant for them to get it. You know what I'm saying? They they walking out to their own lust, doing their own thing, not taking prophecy very seriously. You know what I'm saying? Not taking the words of Yahweh about Shem Al-Shah very seriously. You know what I'm saying? It, it, you know what I'm saying? For Israel, it, it's really repent time. You know what I'm saying? Time for us to, to repent. You know what I'm saying? Time for us to wake our sleep. You know what I'm saying? Because our salvation is nearer than what we believe. You know what I'm saying? Prophecy has come to pass. You got you got uh things are going on in the earth that you've never seen before. And yet, you know, you got our people, they still they still in that dead state. They still in the in a deep sleep. You know what I'm saying? Because they don't believe that Yahweh shot coming back. Because the scriptures say he's going to come back as a thief in the night. You know what I'm saying? You ain't going to know what day or hour when he's going to come back. You don't, even know, you don't even know what time he's going to come back. But he's, through the scriptures, giving you signs on what to look for for his coming. You know what I'm saying? You you know, Matthew chapter 24 is a big telltale sign. Uh, I believe it's uh, Mark 13 and also in Luke as well, man. All these talking about the prophecies. You know what I'm saying? Your house shot breaking down what's what's gonna take place before he comes back. You know what I'm saying? And people still don't believe it. Bring it out. You bring out the scriptures. Showing them what time period that we're in, according to the scriptures. 
you know, people still don't believe it. Even Israelites still don't believe it. It's like you have you have your own people with all against you. You say I've been saying that 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 Sage supposed to come back. He ain't came back yet. Well, look at what's going on in the earth. Look at what's going on. Prophecy is coming to pass right before your very eyes. And if you ain't got the eyesight to, to, to see it, you're not going to see it. You know, most high y'all by the stream of shot and give you that eyesight to see what's going on in the earth. To repent and come back to your house about Shem Al Shah, you know you you gonna you go you gonna just laugh and scoff because you don't believe in you don't believe in the scriptures. You know, matter of fact, you know you you reject the word of Yah about Shem Al Shah when you're walking out to your own lust and you don't believe. You rejecting his word. You rejecting his servant the prophets. You like ah, I don't believe it. And and that's what the time period where we in now. Like, like I said, going back to Noah's time, man. You know, people didn't believe that the earth was going to be destroyed by a flood. They didn't believe it. They thought Noah was crazy. They they thought Noah lost his mind and and he's building a he's building an ark and they probably laugh. We know they laugh and scoff at Noah. Like, look at this fool here. He building he building building an ark. You know, talking about it's going to flood. And, and 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 the thing about it, it never rained on the earth, man. And he and, and these people didn't believe it. You know what I'm saying? And you know, Noah get kept saying the same thing. And he said it for he was saying the same thing for a hundred years. You know what I'm saying? Saying the same thing. And saying the same thing. Kept telling them the mo uh you how about Shem Al Shah gonna destroy the earth by a flood. Kept telling them to repent. And telling them to get themselves right with how about Shem Al Shah. Did they listen? No, they didn't. And then, and then the thing about it, you know, y'all about Shem, y'all shout so gracious. You know, they even had an extra, they even had an extra, um, like, they even had an extra seven days. You know what I'm saying? And they still didn't believe. And, and guess what? When all the animals came on board, and then when Noah, his wife, his three sons, and their wife went on board, you know what I'm saying? Once the ark, uh, Yahweh Hashem out shot shut the door of the ark. That was it. Nobody went getting in, and that's gonna be the same way when Yahweh shot come back with the with the angels. You know what I'm saying? With the elect, they're gonna come back in the chariots, and when they come back, and once, and once that uh, you know, the elect get beamed up in them chariots, that's a wrap. And what's really gonna be around once the once the family of the word hit, that's also part of the prophecy. You know, Amos chapter eight, verse eleven through thirteen. Once that family of the word hit in in your house and your house about your mouth shot shut his word down, that that's a wrap. Cause, Cause what did uh Yahweh did to Ezekiel? You know, he clave his tongue to the roof of his mouth. He you no know, Ezekiel won't reprove Israel no more, man. He left them. He left them. Left basically left them to their own devices, and you see what happened then. You know what I'm saying? They they didn't believe it. They 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 didn't believe Ezekiel just like they didn't believe Jeremiah. You know they didn't they didn't believe the prophets of old, cause, cause every time uh, uh, Israel get a messed up situation, what do your uh, how about Shimei how should I do? Send, send the men of the Lord to warn them, to tell them to repent, come out of their wickedness, come out of their wicked ways, see the face of the Lord. And what did Israel do? Harden their neck. Well, they believe for a little while, then, then once they got, you know, a little relief, then they go back to being wicked. You know what I'm saying? And it, it, it was time period that y'all about to see how shot and deal with our people, man. He didn't deal with us. And that's going and that's going to happen. That's happening in this time period, you know what I'm saying? But this time period, our people don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? They 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 going out doing their own thing. You know, prophecies coming to pass. You know what I'm saying? They laugh at the men of the Lord and all this stuff. And guess what? And and then when trouble really hit, they gonna be crying to you, your how about Shem Al Shah and all this thing. But Most High is not going to hear them, man. Because guess what? He he warned them through his servant the prophets. 
he sounded powerful to warn them about what's going to take place before it happened. So, so guess what? Uh, uh, so guess what? They they didn't listen. They didn't believe it. They 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 struck. They uh they moved. They they didn't hearken. They just moved the show like it said in uh I believe Zechariah seven eleven through twelve. They didn't believe. They didn't believe the prophets. So guess what? They were left to their own devices, man. And, and by them being left their own advice, they got destroyed. And it's going to happen this time period. So your family members don't believe. They don't, they don't believe the words of Yah about Shem al Shah. They don't believe prophecy. They don't believe in the scriptures. You know what I'm saying? Unless Yah about Shem Yah Shah open their eyes up in the last minute, they're going to be destroyed, man. So all your family members, you got to accept the fact of the matter. Everybody's not going to be saved. Because uh, Romans nine six said that the uh, although that the word of Yahweh, you know, some to you know has take you know let me let me get it because I don't want to, to butcher it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to butcher the scripture. You know, it says on the fact not all Israel that of of Israel. Let me get get that uh, uh Romans nine six and said not as though the word of Yahweh had taken none effect. For they are not all Israel, which are of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Because of the fact of the matter, everybody on this side, they are, even though they are Israelites, but in the spirit, they're not, man, because they don't believe in the words of Yahweh by Shem You know what I'm saying? They, they, they want to hang on to this wicked and decrepit society. You know, prophecy is, 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 is telling them that this wicked society and this wicked kingdom is going to be destroyed. Yet our people were still trying to pray to quote unquote Jesus Christ to save this this wicked decrepit kingdom, which is going to be destroyed, man. Because uh, scripture said that it's going to be destroyed. You know, you got brother constantly going to lesson about this place is going to be destroyed. This place is falling. And then did not Michael two and ten tell us to arise ye and depart, for this is not your rest. And it's going to destroy you even with the sword destruction, man. This place is this place is not our rest. You know, you see prophecy is coming to pass concerning Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America. You know what I'm saying? This is not our rest, man. We can't get comfortable here. Yeah, we have to take care of our family. We have to do what we have to do. But at the end of the day, you cannot find yourself being comfortable here. You know what I'm saying? Because you can be destroyed by this place. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai is going to destroy you for even being comfortable in Babylon the Great. Because this place is, is, you know what I'm saying, this place is, is going to destroy you with a sort of destruction, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't be comfortable in this place. And also, don't 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 go back to sleep. Because the scripture tells us to watch as well as pray, man. You don't want to fall, find yourself falling asleep and you knowing that prophecies come to pass. Every while we got to continue to fight. We got to continue to fight in the spirit is in the scripture said walk ye in the spirit so you so you not be not fulfilled so that ye not fulfill the lust of the flesh you know what I'm saying every day we have to walk in the spirit you know what I'm saying even though you sometimes you may not feel it though that you ain't done what you supposed to do you ain't done your best you know what I'm saying repent you know what I'm saying it's like it Yeah, you said you put that on, and then, then you stick, yeah, you stick that on the inside, then you close that part up. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm back. You know, just had had a little bit of fear from a, a trucker, but uh. You know, yeah, as I was saying, man, you can't you can't get comfortable in Babylon the Great. You just cannot. You know what I'm saying? Every day you have it's a fight. You know, cause understand that there's these prophecies are coming to pass in real time. And the last thing that you need is to fall asleep, is to go back into the world, because when you go back into the world and you go back to uh, to that that. Uh, uh, go back to the world. The scripture said that that uh, that last state of that man is gonna be worse than the first. Meaning they 
that you're gonna take on several of other demons worse than than worse than the first uh, first time. Man. What I'm saying is that we are at the time of prophecy. You know what I'm saying? We are at the time that prophecy is coming to pass and everything is speeding up. You know what I'm saying? Because the scripture saying Matthew 24, it said, for the elect's sake, the days shall be short. You know what I'm saying? You're seeing prophecy speed up in real time. You're seeing time is speeding up. Why? Because this, if, if time ain't speed up, then as scripture say, there's no flesh is going to be saved. Even the elect is going to be, uh, uh, it's going to be polluted, man. That way, well, we got to pray for, uh, Yahweh Hashem HaShah. You know, Yahweh HaShah come back speedily, man. Because if Yahweh HaShah don't come back speedily, it, you know, when he come back, that scripture said that there, there's no flesh is going to be saved, man. You know what I'm saying? He ought to show in the days for the elect's sake. Because if, if Yahweh HaShah ain't showing the days, the elect is going to be tainted, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and I'm saying this, you know, understand, understand prophecy, man. And we are at the time period, these things are coming to pass. Prophecy is coming to pass in real time. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? The vision is being made plain. You know, you, you know, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, even have his servants on the highways, byways teaching. Putting up epistles, epistles daily, man. Telling you that these things are happening. Telling you how to prepare yourself. Tell, telling our people to repent. You know what I'm saying? Because these prophecies are coming to pass in real time, man. And you don't want to be caught out there, you know, not having a covering of Yahweh by Shem Al Shah. Because without his covering, without his protection, you know, you, you, you know we're done, man. We got to pray for the mercies of David. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shem Al Shah have mercy on, on us. Because without his mercy, we're, we're done. Point blank, period, man. You know what I'm saying? Prophecy is coming to pass for your very eyes. You know what I'm saying? It, the only thing you can do is repent and follow Yahweh by Shem Al to the best of your ability and pray that he has mercy on you in that day, that he will save you from the uh, pain and destruction that's going to take place here upon the earth and particularly here in Babylon the Great. And that's it for a lesson. I pray that you brothers and sisters have been edified. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rokakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and their respective brothers teaching and, teaching and preaching the truth all over the globe worldwide. See you again with another lesson real soon, y'all willing. Shout out to Juan, Ababa Ball, and Kwame Asherala. Shout out to Juan.